welcome to another video. In today's video, I thought uh, floor tag is reached, fine. Um, today's video, I will try and change this on this car. As you can see, I've got all my tools and everything. The car is parked ready, and I've just finished another video making another video on the ABS sensors and I thought you know while I still got the tools everything out I might change this one because uh, my friend well we swapped cars because uh, my friend was uh, said like uh, can you go and uh, fill up with the LPG because it's uh, out of town uh, petrol station and I go past it every day and uh, his uh, petrol station in town which has uh, had LPG uh, was renovated and I'm not, not sure whether he's still got LPG or not but anyway long story short I've got uh, I've got a uh, thermostat because he noticed straight away uh, when he drove my car, he said it doesn't heat up as it should. And I always had suspicion that thermostat is sort of, you know, not working as it should be. But I never got time to do it because there was no problem. It was hot and it didn't need it to heat up this quick. But now it's winter. And I've got it, so it'd be a shame not to change it. Okay, what do we got here? Do we leave this? I can't remember what I do with these. Ah, I probably put them on there, on the pipe. So, I'm just talking nonsense as I'm uh, uh, disassembling everything. So, Let's put it there, it'll be safe there. So I'm just getting them out of the way. And I'm just gonna twist. I'm gonna chop them off. Makeshift uh, support. And there we go. Because I need to get down to there. And uh, I already tried making this video once, but I hit the roadblock. Well, not a roadblock, but sort of a bump. Uh, let's twist this like so. Maybe even more. There you go, like that. And uh, I'll take this off as well. It'll be... Uh, better access and uh, so the roadblock or bump I hit is that I didn't have the correct tools and I'll show you why I bought these and these came in I even bought this which didn't help so the roadblock the bump see I can get to this one it's 10 mil spanner easy peasy no problemo but there's one there and I cannot reach it and there's no as you can see there I can almost put it on but there's no way I'm gonna turn this so I had to order some tools these were like seven pounds or something and that's the one I need see because it's a socket and it turns 90 degrees even more I can get it now on there and I can turn it yes but now I have to take this off when first let's speed this up
okay so now we've got more access now we don't we're not gonna do anything to this or to this we're just gonna unscrew the top vault <sighs> And now we're gonna get to the bottom one with this. Uh, uh, so I need to turn it this way, yes. Uh. Uh. Oh. There we go. That's where this spanner was meant to be okay so now I can do it undo it with my fingers nice and easy I just don't want to drop it oh everything's running okay so I want to undo and I want to get the bolt do I want to get the bolt nah I don't need to get the bolt I'll get it with the rest of the, you know, with the elbow as such. So this will help me not to lose it. Still. It's very uncomfortable. There we go. I can barely touch it with my tip of my fingers. I'm screwing slowly. There we go. It's loose. Now, I just hold it in the hole and get that elbow out. Don't let go of the screw. There you go. We've got the screw. A little loss of water. No biggie. We're just gonna put this to one side. Okay, put it there and now you've got access let's put this here to your thermostat it's a bit stuck let me just try and wiggle it I don't want to damage it if for instance, you've got, uh, where's my thermostat? There it is. If for instance, you bought and you've got sent the wrong one, you'll damage that one and this one doesn't fit and you've got a problem. So that's why you have to be careful with the parts. Let's slowly see, it's turning. Slowly pull it out. There we go more water comes out not to worry or do I need to worry yeah maybe a little bit so we'll move these from the path of the water so they don't get wet there we go now we got the thermostat off and we've got all the water out so I can see it was water so I needed to change that and now I did because <laughs> I need I'm gonna need to fill up so let's see what the thermostat looks like so do I get a rubber seal a new rubber seal this was nobody knows how it was how much it was is like maybe 10 pounds if that whoa i've got a selection of seals wonderful not that i need them but <laughs> i've got a selection never saw that okay so i've got a completely round seal then i've got like a u-channel and then I've got like a asbestos paper type thing gasket. Okay, let's see what this one is. 
this one looks like it was round at one point I think so we're gonna reuse round one and it was uh, do we need to clean anything here the rust everywhere okay let's see uh, it's fairly clean just needed to do needed to change that water sooner probably because it's not good for the engine the water but there's there is a little bit of antifreeze in there okay so let's see similar shape looks about the same size and height wise it looks about the same there might be difference you know like you've got writing there you haven't got and you've got you know this step a little squarish whereas this one's a bit rounder so it doesn't matter this one's you know wider leg shorter leg it should it should be the same so now we're gonna check we've taken this one out what's what's sealing it i want to see what's sealing it when i say what's sealing it i want to know where the seal is going to be and the seal is going to be i think on this one yes so it's gonna be on top of that on ah it looks like it needs to be on here no it's too big yeah it's too big to be on here so it needs to be on the top and seal it like that yes so let's see whether this new one fits i would say it is a perfect fit absolutely perfect fit okay so now we just need to put it back in because the light is fading people have got money in this little village except me but I don't mind okay so now we're gonna put the seal the rubber seal on there beautifully and now I'm gonna get that bolt in <sighs> kids screaming straight in there and I'm gonna hold it and guide it the same way it came out the same way gonna put it back in there we go and that's it now I just need to not lose it and start tightening it which is very fiddly carefully carefully yes I think I've caught the thread okay so now I just screw it in that speed this up maybe the kids will go away there we go I've managed to screw it all the way in with my fingertips and I didn't want to play with this because you know, it's just a it's just a play as, as long as you can screw it with your fingers you should be screwing with your fingers when it stops then you need to use tools okay so now I'm just gonna tighten the rest of the way I've got the rubber seal, I've got the new thermostat in and hopefully that'll start heating up 
very quickly because I can I can drive for like 20 miles it still wouldn't heat up okay yeah bottom one tighten the bottom one This needed special tooling, see? I couldn't be, I wouldn't be able to change it without this special tool. Because uh. nothing fits in that hole. And I don't want to go under the car. There we go, tight. And tight. So now we just, uh, that's it. Thermostat changed. So let's get these in here. Let's get the old one there. Put this one in quickly before we've got light. And like I said, and was thinking about it, it's going to be a quick job because it's just there. You just need the special tool. If you don't have that special tool, you might need to think of another way because you can get it, you can get to that uh, bottom screw uh, from underneath. But I didn't want to go underneath. It's like I'm old and my my bones are old and I can barely move. <sighs> so I bought a tenner, tenner's worth of tool to do it from the top. <laughs> okay, put this one in. Now what do we need? We need to clamp the clampiness. Where's my clamp? And I need to get some antifreeze. Because it's empty now. Okay, clamp this and turn. And then clamp this. I like these adjustable. They're just a lifesavers. These adjustable uh, would you call them pliers? Adjustable pliers? Okay, so we need more clampage. No more clampage and let's settle it there beautiful so now I just need to two zip ties to hold my air pipe in position or it's, it's in position gonna be whether they tell or not, but it's just uh, to reduce vibrations unnecessary. Okay. There we go. And one over here it was. One day I'm gonna get a bracket of some sort and I'm gonna fix it. But not today. Today is a thermostat day. And ABS sensors, which I already changed. Uh, like so. Yeah. Lift it up a little bit. There we go. Nah. Snipperoo. Snipperoo. Okay, what else we did we just nothing just this and this and this okay so now we're just gonna fill up with water and antifreeze and we'll be off and hopefully it'll heat up quicker than it did 
that's it. Well, the job is not done. I'm gonna get some water. We don't need to see this, so thank you very much for watching again. I don't know why people come back to my channel, but I'm not gonna question it or lose sleep about it. I like it. I like when people are here and watching my videos. Uh, this one needs to go there, this one needs to go there, this one needs to go there, 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 and there. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.